Good morning, everybody. This is Ben Thorpe, Associate Editor with Royal Lifestyle Dealer. Welcome to our latest digital demo in conjunction with Bush Hog. So we've got a good series of slides here coming from Dan. But before we get started, I just want to say two quick things. If you look on the bottom of your screen, there's a Q&A icon there. You can click there to submit questions at any time during the presentation. And then at the end, we'll go through uh, all of them if we have time. And we are recording this webinar and a replay of it will be available later on the Royal Lifestyle Dealer website. And with that, I think we're ready to get started. I will turn it over to you, Dan. Good deal, thanks, Ben. It's great to be here today. I just uh, wanna say thanks to everybody for uh, tuning in and checking this out. So I'm gonna take you through a little bit about Bush Hog, uh, show you some of the products that we offer and, and what we uh, offer to our dealership. So with that being said, let me get going here. Maybe. So uh, Bush Hog itself, uh, we're based out of Selma, Alabama. Uh, we currently have uh, 357 employees, and uh, we have a lot of people that have worked for us for quite a while. So our average seniority is 20 years. Um, the picture on the left there, uh, within Selma, we actually do our fab, weld, paint, and assembly um, all under roof, about 500,000 square foot. And uh, some interesting facts about us, we, we ship about seven truckloads of new equipment uh, every single day uh, out to dealers across the U.S. and Canada. Uh, we stock about 22,800 parts uh, in our parts warehouse, sort of the building on the left there on the screen. And uh, what that means uh, as an active shipment, we ship over 500 parts orders uh, per day um, out to dealers across the U.S. and Canada. So again, we like to start uh, stock parts and service our customers and make sure that we have inventory available to make everybody happy. So I'm gonna show you a little video here uh, about Bush Hog and, and how it came to be. So. Our legend begins like many others. It starts with visionary individuals who had a passion for excellence. Back in 1951, a revolutionary new product designed to clear pastures and crop residue was quietly demonstrated in Selma, Alabama. The first bush hog was the Model 12, a five foot wide rotary cutter that revolutionized the way farmers cleared their fields, helping create a new agricultural industry. The next decade brought many new innovations and bush hog quickly grew, establishing itself as an agricultural force. Many people wonder, where did the name bush hog originate? Well, as the story goes, a farmer watching one of our early prototypes was amazed at the machine's cutting ability and shouted out, it eats bushes like a hog. The name was fitting and a perfect match. Over the years, we've consistently built quality products that deliver dependable service. This quickly established the brand and became the foundation for Bush Hog today. Our attention to the marketplace has always been a key to our success, and by listening to the customer's needs, we have created many new innovations that have become industry standards. Today, Bush Hog mows over 30 million acres of land each year. This diverse line of products is built by some of the finest workers in the industry. Our people take pride in the job they do and deliver legendary products built for years of dependable service. From inventory control, parts fabrication, welding of units, powder coat painting, and final assembly, every step is monitored and inspected to ensure quality. Our manufacturing team delivers units that satisfy our customers' expectations. Every Bush Hog built product goes through extensive research and testing before it comes to the marketplace. This effort has allowed us to develop products that pass the test of time making them a solid business investment. As you can see, this is a proud company that has delivered quality built dependable products for over a half century. Even now, we continue to focus on the market's needs, finding new opportunities to deliver solutions that make good business sense. Our dealers provide the support and follow-up needed to keep your Bush Hog products up and running, delivering productivity and profitability to your bottom line.
No, so uh, hopefully you could all hear the video okay. Um, we uh, have the luxury here at Bush Hog of being both a noun and a verb. So uh, we really enjoy the fact that we know that nobody walks into a dealership and asks for a single spindle rotary cutter. They want a Bush Hog. And we're built on that brand reputation. And it, it's something that every day we come to work and we're excited uh, to be here. And we're uh, excited to support our dealers. So over the years, those product lines have expanded. So uh, from the single spindle to the multi-spindle, um, the addition of flex wings, uh, finishing mowers and tillers. I'll uh, take you through the catalog with some different widths and model offerings here for the next few minutes. But I did also wanna invite you, if you scan the QR code that's in the right hand bottom uh, right now, you can pull up our full line literature and it's out there as we make changes and updates, uh, that QR code remains live and it's a real resource for you to have. Uh, you can share that with customers um, or other dealers and then they can have that in front of them at any time. We sort of divide our lineup into three separate segments. That first segment for us is the consumer products. So what made uh, Bush Hawk famous and what everybody that has three to five to 10 acres buys uh, is at first they buy a single spindle uh, Bush Hog cutter. So we offer those single spindles in different sizes um, from four to seven feet. And we offer them in uh, multiple different uh, heavy duty classes. So uh, the 100 series is our light duty class. Um, the 200 series is our most popular by far. It's actually what's shown in that picture. Um, that would be our medium duty class. And then we offer three, four, and 500 series um, that each uh, class, they just go up uh, in thickness of metal and also in size of gearbox uh, to meet whatever tough challenges you have in front of it. So uh, the 500 series is extreme duty and uh, we uh, produce those. And, and uh, I guess they're used in a lot of different applications, both consumer and commercial uses. A lot of times after people buy that single spindle for their compact tractor, they need to get a tiller as well. So sort of the top middle there, um, we make tillers and cutters in all different colors based on what color tractor you have. Um, so you can order those from the plant, uh, the color that, to match uh, your tractor. But on the tiller side, we offer products in range from 50 inch to 92 inch and uh, in both forward and reverse time. And then as you move sort of to the right there, we also produce uh, finishing mowers here five, six, seven, and eight foot versions. So three, four, and five blade configurations. And so again, those are for smaller horsepower tractors, um, pulling, trying to get that finished look on the front lawn, or if they're trying to maintain maybe five acres of grass. On the right, uh, we offer rear blades, um, box blades, all sorts of blades for behind the equipment. Uh, those range in uh, widths from four foot to 14 foot. So again, that's another useful uh, attachment, whether you're grading your driveway or, or trying to move dirt around in the backyard. A lot of times that's about the third or fourth attachment that, that people add to their uh, what they have for their tractors. And last but not least, the spreaders, the top left. We also sell a fair amount of spreaders. Uh, we offer a 500 and an 800 pound version of that. It can be for spreading fertilizer or for grass seed, um, even putting down some cover crop in different areas as well as planting a food plot um, if you guys are out there hunting deer. So if you move up from there, sort of the second group of uh, most sales for us uh, becomes the large ag and specialty crop equipment. Uh, we offer some crop shredders, the top left. Um, those are offered in 15 to 25 foot widths, uh, very common in the south and um, in the row crop areas as well, north central US. So uh, we sell a lot of those. Um, Top right, we do offer wheel rakes um, through the Bush Hog authorized dealers. Uh, we offer those in eight, 10 and 12 uh, wheel configurations. Also uh, very popular um, in the ag segment, um, the bottom right is our multi-spindle lineup. We offer multi-spindles, so it's a rigid deck, um, seven foot to 15 foot wide. Uh, we offer them in three point and pull type versions. We also offer several different duty classes in that. Um, within the Bush Hag lineup, the 200 series would be sort of that medium duty and a 300 series, 400 series, 500 series go into the heavy duty cutters. Um, as you move to the left in the center there, uh, that's actually our newest release. It's the new 4115 flex wing. So that's a 15 foot flex wing 
uh, very popular for bull shredding crops as well as maintaining around fields. Some of those features that you see on the bottom, we've updated it to an isolated, uh, to a set of isolators for dampening the rear axle. So it pulls through the field or along the roadside uh, much smoother. Um, we've updated the front hitch and we've gone to a new hexagonal deck ring underneath uh, that allows for better crop flow uh, through the cutter, uh, as well as we've updated the blade bolts for quick change blade bolts. As you move into the, to the final segment that we offer, um, we do a large amount of business in governmental and commercial mowing. So we offer a series of boom mowers. Um, you see that in the top left and the bottom right. Um, those booms range from 14 to 20 foot uh, extensions. And we have the flail heads like that are in the top left and rotary heads that are in the bottom right. Um, and so again, those come in four, five and six foot uh, heads. But again, the reach on those is between 14 and 20 foot. Sort of on the center on the bottom is our tri-deck. So popular at golf courses and some parks and stuff like that. We offer those in widths of uh, 12 to 17 foot wide. And again, very popular in sort of the community space segment. Uh, becoming a lot more popular is the brush cutters. We offer them in five, six and seven foot configurations. Um, both a closed front deck, like what's shown on the picture, as well as an open front deck if you're trying to knock down some smaller trees. Uh, it allows you to go up there and not have to push the tree over. It cuts it down, um, and then you can go over and mulch it up. The top center is sort of the, the big dog, the heaviest cutter that we make. The 5115 uh, replaces what used to be a 4815 in our lineup. It's the big brother to the 4115 I showed on the previous slide. But it's used in a lot of commercial roadway mowing applications, right along with the 4115, depending on where you're at and what you're trying to do with it. It's just the heaviest uh, cutter that we have in our entire lineup. A couple things about uh, Bush Hog. Um, our vision is very simple. We want to bring uh, superior value to our customers, employees, and our stakeholders. But really what sets us apart from everybody else is our mission. Our mission is to provide products and support that help our customers turn property into the land of opportunity so they can live their version of the American dream. That's something that, that really strikes home to me as people have uh, gone through the COVID era and they've moved back to the country. Uh, they're maintaining property for maybe the first time in their life or they're living on a family farm that's been passed down for generations. We really wanna provide the tools and solutions that make life easier and better for you. What sets us apart? Uh, we're, we're a small, big company, and uh, what I love about being a part of that is that our customer service group are all um, people that have been raised around Bush Hog. Many of them came from either production or shipping or parts, and they, they've been around the brand their entire life. So when you call into our customer support, you get someone that's been here for 30 years. They can talk about the new products and the old products, and we're here to answer all your questions. Uh, when it comes to service parts, I would argue there's no one better than us at stocking parts and shipping them to you. Uh, I showed you that picture in the intro slides, but we do stock almost 23,000 part SKUs in the warehouse and ship those out daily. Our technical assistance, uh, most of the people in our service group have uh, actually come from our test group. And so they've run the product for years, um, done uh, different improvement, and they're able to talk through uh, what they're doing uh, on the phone. We're also enhancing our video library to show some of the common things like blade uh, change out or pan repair. Um, so we've been pushing those out onto our YouTube channel and there's more to come uh, from that angle as well. Our product line uh, I think is second to none. Uh, we have expanded the product line over the years as the market has changed and grown and we'll continue to do that in the future. So whenever there's a new idea or a shift in the marketplace, we're a company that adapts and launches those new uh, revolutionary products. But we're really here because of our dealer network. Um, over the years, we've grown and expanded as a company, and we've really held to, true to our dealers and the support that we offer to them um, so that the end users have the parts and service available in the local market. And we drive our entire brand reputation around taking dealers um, and supporting them and offering them what they need to succeed. 
One of the other things is is the brand. Uh, we're lucky enough to be the Kleenex uh, of the rotary cutter business. And uh, with that, it become, it drives customers to the dealerships. Um, and I'll show you some stuff here in a while that we're doing uh, to help bring those dealerships or bring those customers into your dealerships and make the purchase decision. And last but not least, we believe in actively giving back to communities. This last year, uh, we did a special run of pink cutters. You might've seen it on social media and things like that, but we produced uh, 50 pink cutters uh, to help uh, in the breast cancer awareness cause. Uh, internally, we auctioned off one of those units, as well as many dealers across the U.S. held local uh, auctions and raffles and held community events raising money uh, for a great cause. When it comes to dealers, uh, we have just shy of a thousand dealers in the U.S. right now. Uh, these dealers uh, actively support the products that we sell, um, and we are currently in a continue to expand phase. So there are still a few open markets out there. As you can see, um, on the East Coast and the Southeast, we're pretty fairly saturated. But as you move further west, um, there's still some opportunities, um, and we're continuing to grow. Those uh, dealers are all supported by 28 field-based territory managers. So we're a company that believes that you need the support at your dealership uh, to help you uh, write the business plan and plan your business um, for this year and the years to come. And we want to make sure that you have the right product on your lots uh, to go into the season and what's going on in your neighborhood, in your local area. Sometimes I get asked, what is, what, what's the ideal Bush Hog dealer look like? Um, we're a brand that fits with everybody, in my opinion. Uh, whether you are a mainline uh, tractor supplier or you're an independent short line dealer only, uh, as you break up our revenue model, uh, we do uh, a good amount of business within the Case and New Holland networks, but equally we do a good job with Kubota, Deer, uh, a lot of the Massey dealers um, have, we've grown in that segment as well. And, and then the standalone short line uh, dealers, you might just have lawnmowers, you might have uh, some like an LS tractor or Mahindra, uh, but don't have a full line outside of that. And, and we fit well there as well. So again, I just want to clarify that from the Bush Hog brand, we're lucky enough to paint all the different colors um, and we really fit in in any organization. Just as an example, uh, when people say, what is a Bush Hog dealer? You know, we are a Deer dealer. We are a Kubota dealer. We are a Case IH. We're New Holland. We're short line only. Uh, we fit into all those situations. And where we help grow your business is we really drive the customers to the location. That's what's made us successful with the brand recognition that we have and what we offer to the marketplace. We bring people into your dealership asking for the brand. A lot of people say, hey, how do we do that? Well, the industry, COVID, uh, really changed the way we go to market as a company. Um, it was a real pivot for us from a wholesale to a retail driven market. And what I mean by that is that what we were challenged to do um, is how do we market more to end users? So our philosophy 100% of the time is to market to end users now and pull them to the dealership. So uh, with these quarterly promotions that you see in the bottom right, we're pushing these out uh, via digital uh, content in most cases, sometimes in uh, still re regional publications but they're seeing that we're offering a promotion on Bush Hog. They're clicking on it. They're going to our website, they're doing research. And when you look at where they're going within our website, they do their research, they land on a product that they like, and then we're pushing them to the local dealership to go and take advantage of the special offer. So uh, in the marketing world, it's a pull through method. Uh, we're giving them the bait to say, hey, you look at Bush Hog stuff, maybe you're a landowner, maybe you just bought a first tractor. And uh, we want you to be part of that Bush Hog family. The second thing that we do is further engage with end users. So two examples in the top left is that we create branded content. Uh, we work with uh, different people and influencers and different things within the industry and uh, get some good storylines as far as people using their Bush Hog equipment, how it's made their life easier, how it's made, uh, helped them to develop their property. And uh, so what we do is we take that content, um, we create some stories and we push it out uh, through digital marketing efforts 
and really draw those people in and say, hey, if you're a if you're a three acre guy, a five acre guy, ten acre guy, or you're a thousand acre farmer, uh, we have a solution for you. And uh, again, that brings them in uh, to the website. And the whole goal for us is to bring them into the website, let them find out more information, uh, and then pass that lead along uh, to the dealership. Get them coming in with the coupon or the promotion and, and asking for those bush hog products. Last but not least, uh, we do. Uh, a pretty good job on our uh, Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Uh, I should say, I think a great job. A little quirky here and there, uh, but again, we have a great loyal following um, that continues to grow, and the interaction is really what has impressed us the most, is people sending in pictures of their bush hog in action, their family members. Uh, it's part of the family farm, um, sharing that. And then also uh, at the farm shows, uh, teaming up with... Uh, FFA and kids stopping by, uh, asking about the products, asking about future careers, and really wanting to be a part of the brand. And so uh, on social advertising, we, we really focus on selling the products as well as the brand. And then again, bringing them in and sending them to the dealership to make a purchase. One of the last things today uh, that I have is that we have uh, created a new app. So you can go out to uh, the Apple Store or to the Android Store um, and download the Bush Hog app. Uh, this is a really easy to use uh, resource. Uh, not only can you get the product guide and more product details like we talked today, uh, but you can get the parts manuals. Uh, there's an interactive parts lookup. Uh, you can view our current promotions. Uh, you can use the dealer locator uh, to check out where your closest local dealer is. And then also I invite you to use the contact us. Uh, if you're on this uh, call today looking at some new brands and seeing how you could add Bush Hog uh, to your portfolio, uh, you can go in there and say that you want us to reach out to you about becoming a dealer. And it's a great way also, uh, if you are a current dealer, to share what you're doing, uh, success that you had, and uh, build off of that reputation. So again, I encourage you, if you haven't already, uh, to download the new Bush Hog mobile app. And last but not least, uh, we want to say thank you um, for those that are dealers current and uh, dealers that, of the future, um, that you're part of the Bush Hog family. Uh, we're a local company, uh, Selma, Alabama, like I said in the beginning, uh, a little over 350 people strong. And uh, we go to work every day uh, building products that, that people enjoy to use, and it's part of their day-to-day -day routine. So with that, Ben, I'd like to turn it over and, and see if there's any questions out there. Thank you very much, Dan. Great stuff. And we actually do have a question right here from Amy to kick us off. Amy asks, what does onboarding look like for your new dealers? Yeah, so um, onboarding for our new dealers, uh, it's really a lot focused on the local territory manager. So uh, when we set up a new dealer, we sit down, we try to make a plan for what you might need to have in stock. Uh, see if that inventory is available immediately or how we can transfer and get stuff there. Uh, but you go through an application process, uh, but we do keep it all locally. So you would uh, interact with the local territory manager, uh, do a credit sort of check reference, and we get you set up and you go into business. Okay. And are you currently taking on new dealers? Yes, sir. So uh, we do... Um, try to give each dealer a little bit of space around them. So depending on the local market area and the current competitiveness, uh, again, I would encourage you to reach out to uh, the contact us page and ask for more information and uh, we'll get you our territory manager in contact with you. Okay. And what resources can you provide to a new dealership? Just kind of just getting started. Yeah. So, um, we try to take a hands-on approach. Um, so we have a lot of marketing collateral that's available, product guides. Actually, this, this deal behind me here, um, within your dealership, we, we set it up inside um, with some promotional material. Uh, so as customers come in and they're uh, looking at it, they see the, the current advertisement, um, can pick up a product guide and, and learn more about the products and even sort of size it up to what type of tractor they have. So again, uh, hands-on out of the gate, and uh, our reps are very knowledgeable about the product, and they're there to help all the way through the process. Okay. Well, great. 
Well, thank you, Dan, for today's presentation. Thank you to everyone who joined us. Uh, today's presentation and audio, again, will be available a replay on the uh, World Lifestyle Dealer website. If you want to go back and review, you can watch your email for more information on that. But on the, the behalf of our team and everybody at Bush Hog, thank you all for joining us for today's digital demo. Feel free to reach out and let us know what you thought of it, if there's anyone else you'd like us to work with in the future on these. So uh, thank you again, and everybody enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, Dan.